So you don't falsely accuse people of something that they did not do. It is haram. Especially labeling a person with zina. Illegal sexual intercourse in Islam is a serious thing, brothers and sisters in faith. Because Islam protects the image of people. Islam protects image of people. Im Look, Islam is a religion of respect. And the moment you label a person with such accusations, it brings the person's image down. And Allah will not let you go like that. For defaming someone like that, for tarnishing someone's image, Allah will tarnish your image too. That's not all. How many? I just want you to count it. Because I want you to know the seriousness of what we're talking about. Number one, we said, Allah said, Islamically, you should be what? Last. 80. From Anina Jalida. 80, right? Good. Number two, a testimony should not be accepted from you. Number three, Allah named you Fasiq. Number four, Allah said, in the sight of Allah, you are a Kadhib. You are a liar. Take another one, that's not all. Inna al-ladheena yarmoona al-muhsalati al-ghafilati al-mu'minat lu'inu fi dunya wal-akhira Those who accuse innocent women, innocent people, they did not do it. They are heedless. Unsuspected women, unsuspected, they did not do it. He, the brother did not do it. But you say he did it. Listen to Allah. Allah said you are cursed in dunya and akhira. Alhamdulillahi alladhi khalaqa al-samawati wal-arda wa ja'ala al-dhulumati wal-nura thumma al-ladhina kafaru bi rabbihim ya'dilun. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخر اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother and my dear sister I know the situation is hard. Things are not moving. I know. But remember, you have Allah and Wallahu Ghalibun Ala Amri. The situations are hard. But you have Allah. And Allah has full control over his affairs. So relax. Wallahu ghalibun ala amri. Allah's decree will always prevail. You have Allah. So take it easy. Wallahu ghalibun ala amri. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But many people do not know. Now that you know. And you are reminded, my dear brother and my dear sister, relax and say, حَسْبِيَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ Remind your soul and say, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ مُحَمَّدٌ Rasulullah. I have no one but Allah and I testify. I believe he alone deserves to be worshipped and I believe Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Allah's last and final messenger. Muhammadun Rasulullah. Brothers and sisters in faith. Please stop. 
please stop because it is damaging the society stop because it is separating the families stop because it is separating people it is causing harm to the society it is hurting the society it is hurting people please stop the question is what is he talking about i know stop what stop the false accusation stop the slandering stop slandering people stop spreading false informations about people stop the lies stop it because it is destroying and damaging the society it is causing harm stop the false accusation but this goes to you if you are claiming islam and you say i am a muslim then stop because an abdullah ibn amr radiyallahu anhu qal on the authority of abdullah ibn amr may allah be pleased with him he said qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said al muslim man salim al muslimun min lisanihi wa yadihi a good muslim is he who other muslims are safe from his tongue and his hands so stop spreading the lies spread stop spreading the false informations about others defaming them trying to tarnish their images stop it if you are calling yourself a good muslim it is not befitting you as a muslim to spread false accusations damaging people's images and this is not an act of a believer an abi hurairah radiyallahu anhu qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al akhir falyaqul khayra aw liyasmut if you are calling yourself a believer a true believer the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said you should speak what is good or keep mute so stop spreading the lies it is false you know but out of jealousy and envious you try to tarnish one's image it is not good it is haram he did this okay she did that they did this where is your proof bring your proof any proof call hatu burhanakum kul hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqin bring your proof display your proof what is your proof then why if you have no proof why are you trying to tarnish your brother's or your sister's image accusing him of doing something that he did not do accusing her of doing something that she did not do and this thing is causing trouble false accusations is separating families is causing divorce in our communities because a liar sat down and lied and spread lies and now the family are separated why it is haram it is dangerous don't just sit in your room and assume something and then you say it is true you sit and assume something your assumption now is true ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu 
Allah is calling. If you call yourself a believer, then Allah is calling you. Avoid most suspicion. Avoid most conjecture. Sitting down and suspecting something and that's it. It's true. Stay away. Refrain from most suspicion. For some suspicions are sinful. And this is what's happening today. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, iyyakum wa dhan, fa inna dhan akthabu al-hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, avoid suspicion. For suspicion is the false, most false or the false form of talk. Today, people are acting on suspicion. Without tathabbut. In jaakum fasikun bina bayin fatabayyanu. An tusibu qawman bi jahala. Fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadimin. And with the help of social media today, many people have been accused falsely. Do you know you sharing a false accusation, you are part of it? A video that came that you have no assurance of, you have no witness, you have no proof, it came to you and you share it, do you know you're part of this? Do you know you are also sharing false accusations? And subhanallah, subhanallah, how many women today are accused of committing zina? How many? Innocent women. How many brothers today are accused of committing zina? Innocent brothers. They did not do it. But someone just sat and assumed and spread lies. He labeled the person with zina, with, adul with adultery. Now wherever the person goes, the first thing you remember is zina. Because one thing about false accusation, when you falsely accuse someone, whoever sees the person, the first thing that comes to the person's mind is what that matter. Oh, he was the one that was accused of. And you caused it. And you know it's a lie. Allah is waiting for you. Allah said, Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu jitanibu kathiran min al-dhan inna ba'd al-dhan ithm wa la tajassasu And do not spy on each other wa la yagtab ba'dukum ba'd Do not backbite each other ayuhibbu ahadukum ay yakula lahma akhihi mayta fakarihtumu would one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? That's what you're doing. You are slandering people. You are backbiting people. You are falsely accusing innocent people. Brothers and sisters in faith, I said earlier, how many people are accused of zina and they did not do? Even if they did, is it your business? Excuse my language. Is it your problem? Does it concern you? Min husni islam al mar'i tarkuhu ma la yani. My point here, brothers and sisters, in faith, even if he did, and you came, when it comes to adultery, brothers and sisters, please listen to me carefully. When it comes to illegal sexual intercourse, when it comes to adultery, zina, in Islam, it's a serious matter. Very serious. 
Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said we shall not get close to zina. If you remember, Allah said, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَ وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا And do not get come close to zina, to adultery, to illegal sexual intercourse, إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَ Because it is an immoral, وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا And an evil way. Okay, now. Allah said not to do it. And you came when it comes to the punishment of zina in Islam zina is not punishable until you bring four witnesses I repeat zina is not punishable in Islam until you bring what four witnesses otherwise leave it with Allah But you came as an individual. You came one person. And you are accusing people of committing zina. Sometimes not even, you didn't mention only one name, names. This and this and that, they committed zina. And those who accuse innocent women, innocent people and they did not bring four witnesses ثُمَّ لَمْ يَأْتُوا بِأَرْبَعَةِ شُهَدَاءِ number one Allah said you should be king Islamically, you should be beaten. Lashes. How many? 80. وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ الْمُحْصَنَاتِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَأْتُوا بِأَرْبَعَةِ شُهَدَاءِ فَجَلِدُوهُمْ ثَمَانِينَ جَلْدًا Islamically, you the one spreading these false accusations, spreading this lies, slandering people, tarnishing their images, Allah said you should be given 80 lashes. And subhanallah, listen to Allah. Allah described you as a wrongdoer, as evildoer, as a lawbreaker, as someone who corrupts the society. Allah said you are fasik. Who? You the one spreading lies, false accusation, accusing people of something that they did not do. Allah said you are a fasik. Hold that name. That's your name. If you are doing that, that's one. That's not all. Number two. Allah said we shall not accept any testimony from you again. We should not accept any testimony from you. That's it. Allah said we should not accept what? Your testimony. Abedan. Wa ulaika humul fasikun. Because those are what? They are al-fasikun. They are those who corrupt the society. They are the evil doers. They are the law breakers in Islam. Because they are spreading lies. How many people are in jail today because of false accusation? How many people? Have you ever seen someone freed after 50 years of false accusation? 50 years in prison! Due to false accusations. Subhanallah. 
50 years of man's life in prison and some are still in prison today life imprisonment and it is, it is what it is a false accusation he is there he's not coming out because someone sat and lied Allah said you should be given ثمانين جلدة ولا تقبل لهم شهادة أبدا and do not accept their testimony ever وأولئك هم الفاسقون and Allah name you فاسق so if you are spreading lies you are فاسق and listen again listen again لولا جاءوا عليه بأربعة شهداء فإذ لم يأتوا بالشهداء فأولئك عند الله هم الكاذبون. Had they come with four witnesses, they did not do that because they don't have in the sight of Allah they are liars. So Allah said you are a liar. سبحان الله. Let's count, brothers. You should be beaten. 80 lashes a testimony from you should not be accepted you are farsic you corrupt the society and you are a liar only you what's wrong with you why are you carrying all this load too just for fame because social media today is making some people crazy I want to be heard I want to be seen so let me just sit down and label these false accusations on others just to be heard, to be known. And so what? You will be known in hellfire too. That's your own business. You chose to do that. You chose to go there. You will be known in there too. So you don't falsely accuse people of something that they did not do. It is haram. Especially labeling a person with zina. Illegal sexual intercourse in Islam is a serious thing, brothers and sisters in faith. Because Islam protects the image of people. Islam protects image of people. E Look, Islam is a religion of respect. And the moment you label a person with such accusations, it brings the person's image down. And Allah will not let you go like that. For defaming someone like that for tarnishing someone's image Allah will tarnish your image too that's not all how many I just want you to count it because I want you to know the seriousness of what we're talking about number one we said Allah said Islamically you should be what last 80 80 right good number two a testimony should not be accepted from you Number three, Allah named you Fasiq. Number four, Allah said, in the sight of Allah, you are a Kadhib. You are a liar. Take another one. That's not all. Inna al-ladheena yarmoon al-muhsanat al-ghafilat al-mu'minat lu'inu fi dunya wal-akhirah. Those who accuse innocent women, innocent people, they did not do it. They are heedless, unsuspected women, unsuspected, they did not do it. He, the brother did not do it, but you say he did it, listen to Allah. Allah said you are cursed in dunya and akhirah. Where are you taking all this load to brother? It's too heavy for you to carry. Allah said you are cursed in dunya and you are cursed in akhirah. Not all, not all. Hold that for me again. Allah said severe punishment is waiting for you in, in akhirah. Who is Al-Azim? Allah. And Allah called the punishment that he is going to give that person Azim. Now think about it. It is a great punishment. Severe punishment that a person will receive if you are falsely accusing people of something that they did not do. So my dear brothers and sisters in faith, please, let's stop the false accusation. False accusation defaming people, tarnishing people's images.
lies what will you get and most of this problem is out of jealousy believe me it is envious people see him as this so let me say this so that they will change their mind on him are you the one who gave him that position sometimes we don't think right right one thing you should, we should all understand if Allah gives a person a position Allah exalts a person he puts him in a position nothing can remove him except Allah so no matter how much you talk at the end you will be exposed you will be exposed and if you are not exposed in dunya over there he's waiting for us you will be exposed over there and you know, I know you can't say I'm not going over there. Just make sure you don't die. Try not to die. That's the only thing that will save you. Don't die. So brothers and sisters in faith, let's stop spreading false accusations, lies, defaming people, slandering people. Let's stop breaking the community apart. Separating the families with lies. Allah is watching. May Allah protect our tongues. May Allah protect our tongues. So brother and my dear sister, please control your tongue. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. My dear brother and my dear sister, you heard the message today. Our message today is reminding each other, Astaghfirullah, let's all try and stop spreading lies, accusing each other of something that we did not do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is waiting. But there are room. I mean, the room for repentance is open. You can choose to stop now. And all this load that is on you, inshallah, Allah will lift it. You stop from now. Because Babu Tawba Maftuha. Babu Tawba Maftuha. Abu Abu Tawba Maftuha. Okay? Babu Tawba Maftuha. And the, road, the, the, the doors, the gates of forgiveness and repentance are open. Abu Abu Maftuha. Go to Allah and ask Allah to forgive you. Otherwise, the load is too heavy for you to carry. May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us. May Allah help us control our tongues. May Allah help us control our tongues. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is coming. Quickly. We are in Rajab, Shaban, then Ramadan. Our scholars said Rajab is the month of planting seed. Start warming up. Shaban is the month of watering the seed. And Ramadan, we will harvest. So now start your recitation of the Quran. Recite Quran more. Start warming up. Pray during the night while others are, are sleeping. Do it more because you want to prepare yourself. You want to make sure you harvest the most in Ramadan. So now you plant the seed in Rajab. You water the seed and in Ramadan you are ready for the game. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this easy for us. May Allah accept our worship. May Allah accept our ibadat and also the Imam. Our Imam, Imam Muhammad Silla, Imam of Masjid Siddiq. He's asking Jamal for forgiveness. He's traveling, inshallah, going to uh, back home to visit the family. He's asking Jamal, please make dua for him and pr forgive him. And we pray may Allah take him safe and bring him back safe. May Allah continue to bless you and protect you and make this easy for you. Whatever you're looking for, Allah knows. May Allah SWT grant you your good wish. If you have any bad wish against someone, may Allah remove it from your heart. May Allah clean your heart. May Allah clean our hearts. May Allah bless us and bless our families. May Allah bless us and bless our children. May Allah forgive us our sin. May Allah heal the sick among us. May Allah give us long life to witness Ramadan. Allahumma balligna Ramadan. 
اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان and brothers and sisters alhamdulillah last week we had a, 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 a graduation alhamdulillah some of the courses we took uh, may allah continue to bless our students our children may allah make them better than us and inshallah we have our upcoming which uh, the registration is about to be closed for those who are interested we have sira knowing the biography of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have al aqidah knowing who you are as a muslim how to worship allah we have tajweed which is uh, a book we want to treat called al jazariya and we have also inshallah Allah, uh, a book in Arabic language, which is uh, Arabic grammar, which is called Al. Uh, it is Arabic grammar book. Inshallah, uh, 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 we're going to treat Inshallah with the students. We pray may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make things easy. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgive us. The book called Al Shabrawi. Inshallah, it is. Arabic language grammar. So for those who are interested, the over there you can scan, you can inshallah uh, uh, apply. We will start them very soon. And the, when, so once the, the registration is closed, we're not going to open until we finish the course. May Allah continue to bless you. May Allah protect you. Allahumma hadina wa hadibina wa jalana sabab al And don't forget it is Friday. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Muhammad. Mabarik ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Kama barak ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Muhammad. Wa kumila salatikum. Barak